I'm Rhonda. And I'm Joe. And we are RVing with the Maracas. Today um, we are in the Delaware State Forest at a boondocking spot. And it's a free boondocking spot um, in the northeast part of Pennsylvania. As you can see, we're dressed for the cold because it's cold. And we've been cold for the past two months <laughs> up in this area. So uh, we didn't really expect this, but it's, it's, it's working for us. Um, we wanted today to give you a tour of the inside and the outside of our uh, travel trailer. We have an outdoors RV. It's a backcountry series mountain track outdoors RV. It's um, 28 feet and it's got the double bunks inside. So um, we're going to give you a tour of the inside. And now we're going to go inside and tour the inside of the travel trailer. Okay, so the first part I want to show you is our, our living room area. We chose to get the two recliners for this area and we use them in the, a lot. We have our coffee here in the morning, we watch TV, we do a lot of reading. This has turned out to be a very nice comfortable area for us. Um, we do have the flat screen TV in this travel trailer. It's on a swivel arm, so it swivels out so that when you're um, sitting down on the recliners, you can watch TV very comfortably. We have um, this nice shelf underneath it here that comes with a lot of storage. Uh, the stereo, the TV actually plays through the speakers um, on the stereo, which is nice because you get the surround sound in here. Um, but this is a nice stereo system for us. Lots of storage space in these cabinets here. Because you can see we have every space pretty much <laughs> filled up. We do live in this travel trailer, travel trailer full time. And um, this underneath here is where we keep our shoes. This is very convenient for when you come in the doors. Okay, moving on, I wanted to show you the dining room area. Outdoors RV really prides themselves in this really nice big table that the travel trailer comes with. It's very sturdy. It's on two large pedestals, which makes it very sturdy. It's wide, as you can see. We have our two laptops set up here. We have plenty of room to work when we're sitting on either side. We have um, these, these are larger bench seats because there's plenty of room for four people. Um, the bench seats have nice pull-out drawers under each one. They're very deep, so you can get lots of stuff in these drawers. There's also storage underneath the cushion seat. There's a little space back behind each bench where we have lots of stuff behind the benches. Um, we also use the, we, the area under the table for some storage area, for some different things under there, especially when we travel and we pull the slide in, we actually put a lot of stuff under there. We really like the big windows on the slide on the side of the travel trailer. It's, it's very nice. It brings in a lot of light and the skylight up at the top also brings in a lot of light for the RV. Next to the dining room table, there's a nice bookshelf here that um, we use for different kinds of storage. This has proved to be very handy. You do have to watch and put in the um, tension rods. The tension rods, um, because this signs up right here with the slide when it comes in, so you always have to check this area. But we really have found this to be a very nice storage area. One of the reasons we got this particular travel trailer is we wanted the double bunks um, in case we have um, friends come or uh, family visiting. Um, but what we do, um, I actually made these curtains. I covered the dark curtains that were in here when we first got it. We went to Yellowstone last summer and kind of fell in love with the whole animal theme. So that's what we're going with right now. But the top bunk is very nice because we use it as a storage area. As you can see, there's tons of stuff up here. Our coolers, um, the ladder, laundry, all kinds of stuff. We also filled this side of the bunk with these plastic bins that actually pull out. They're like drawers. So I have a lot of my clothes and just a lot of miscellaneous things in these drawers, which has turned out to be a good way. But if you have any ideas about storage on top bunk, please let me know. The bottom bunk has turned out to be very nice. 
Um, we use this as a, another um, seating area, reading area, place if you need to get away, you know, at night when you have sleepless nights. Um, we really like this area. And if we had guests, this would be where the, the guests would sleep. We did, um, there, the door to the outside storage area opens up into this bottom bunk. We did cover the door with some Reflectic and this material just to give the protection from the cotton cold in this area. Next, I wanna show you the bathroom. Um, we really like this. We This is much bigger than what we had before in our Thor Axis. Um, so come on in to the bathroom area. Um, one of our favorite features of this bathroom is the outside door. This works. This is very nice that you can um, go open to the outside and get lots of fresh air in the bathroom. We love the tub area. Um, it's nice and it's pretty big. It's very comfortable for us. We changed out the shower curtain to go with the animal theme as everything else. Um, we really like the bar here, how it comes out, and it gives you a lot more room in the shower. That's very nice. Um, the bathroom did not come with a lot of storage area. There's just storage under the sink here. So Joe added this. We found this um, little shelf at Bed, bed Bath & Beyond um, for towels, that kind of thing. We put it up with screws um, and some heavy-duty um, tape that goes to the wall. It's pretty secure. Um, these two hooks, we moved from this wall over to here, over the door, and they're very handy to have in here also. Um, we also added these um, command strip little cups with some decoupage on them just for our personal items. And we have the nice medicine cabinet in here. Uh, oh, oh, and Joe installed this nice, wonderful faucet. We had a, um, another faucet in here that it came with, and it was very low to the ground and actually backed up here against the back of the sink. So when you washed your hands, you touched the back of the sink. So we added this new one, and this has worked out very well in this area. Another nice part about this travel trailer is it came with a lot of closet space. So this, some people use this for a pantry. I use it for my clothes in addition to the boxes that I showed you up here, the bins. This works out really well. Lots of command hooks, hanging things, works really well. It has two drawers beneath that are more clothes for me. Um, then I want to um, show you the kitchen. We really like the kitchen area in this travel trailer. Um, we have an eight cubic foot refrigerator and it is um, really nice. It's lots of room in it. We have um, plenty of um, space for two weeks worth of food if we choose to do that. Um, the freezer works really well. This is a refrigerator that works on gas or electric, so it um, works pretty well. We will we'll tell you in another video about some trouble we've had with it, but we got it all fixed. Uh, now this um, oh, dinner is here, um, but this the cat kitchen has lots of cabinet space above which we use for the pantry area down below. I One of the, my favorite features is this. the cabinets are big enough for my large Instapot. And that is something in my other RV. I was moving it from the bathtub to the front seats continually. Now it actually has a home all of its own, which is very nice. We love the gas stove. This is We used gas when we were in our sticks and bricks home. And we love this. Um, this has been very nice to cook on. We did not have an oven, or we did have a, we had a convection oven in our um, previous RV. But we really like the gas stove. And the I put in the pizza stone to help distribute the heat within it, and that seems to help. I do have to adjust the temperature about 50 degrees in this gas oven. Um, like if you're going to cook something at 350, you have to put it at 400 just to make it work well. The microwave above the stove and the fan is very nice when you're cooking. We have had the smoke alarm go off a few times, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> That's how you know the food's done. That's right, yeah. Lots of cooking that goes on in this kitchen. Space under the um, oven for pots and pans. We have these really deep drawers. There's three of them here. We have lots of kitchen supplies in. Under the sink, there's lots of room for different storage, different items under the sink, cleaning supplies, etc. We really like the um, farm-style sink. 
Uh, it gives us lots of room for doing dishes and keeping things cleaned up. The windows are very nice in here. I do have plans to um, change out these mini blinds. I'm not really thrilled with these, but um, that's what it came with. But down the road, we will change that out. We did invest in a Berkey. Um, we really like having fresh water. We um, when we fill up the tank, we actually filter the water coming in and then we filter it again in the Berkey before we use it. So we try to be real careful with that. Um, it has this pull-up shelf here, which makes it, I use this a lot when I'm cooking and preparing food. This is just really a nice layout. More cabinet space up here for the dishes and plasticware. Works out really well. Final part inside I wanted to show you is the bedroom area. Um, so um, okay, there we go. Um, so this has a queen size bed. It's a pretty comfortable mattress that came with the bed, came with the travel trailer. Um, we have two closets on each side. Joe keeps his clothes in these closets. We also have these overhead bins where we have different things stored in there. Um, Joe did install solar on our travel trailer. So there's storage under the bed. And he has, um, we have clothes and stuff on top, but underneath the clothes there is where he has his lithium, lithium batteries and his inverter. And that has worked out really well um, for us. The bedroom does have a walkthrough area right here, but we've put up a lot of command hooks where we can hang coats. We've been in um, the cold for the past couple of months up in the Northeast, and um, we can't seem to put these <laughs> coats away very often lately. Um, we have our dirty clothes in here, and if we want to get to the other side of the bed, walk around the outside, we both do, instead of going through that skinny little passageway, this works out really well for us door um we do have um privacy doors on this travel trailer um we don't use them very much when it's just the two of us but if we had guests this would come in very handy i believe um, and i think that's it hi everybody i'm going to start to show you the exterior storage areas that we use on our rv this is underneath the bunks. Rhonda considers this her storage area. The storage bins keep it neat and orderly, but it is stuffed full as we travel. I have some leftover wire and solar electrical tools in two of the bins. The rest is cleaning supplies, extension cords, water toys, and who knows what else. It has springs to lift up the bottom bunk for tall items, but we never use that. Okay, this is the front compartment, and I like all these doors because they have the magnet that keeps it up. This one is our tool storage and miscellaneous big smelly stuff, like the grill, um, our elbow for the black tank, gloves. The front compartment is my storage area. I go in there multiple times a day. It's filled with tools, the grill, air compressors, stabilizer bars, long cleaning brushes and mops. I really like the slide out tray, it's very heavy duty. On our winter trip to Florida, I hope to build a rack to slide in a portable solar panel that we can use to help charge the batteries. Then there is the truck. We have the bed totally full while traveling. What is in there has changed some as we refine our packing skills, but it remains full. I really like the roll and lock cover we have. It works great. It's heavy duty and keeps it dry inside. Unfortunately, we also now have to use the back seat area for storage during travel. The inflatable boat, video coming someday, we purchased is pretty bulky, as is the screen tent we travel with. We have two tables, four chairs, two outdoor carpets, two ladders, lots of blocks, and fresh water and gray water gear, plus the propane tank for the grill. We also carry our two electric bikes and a portable holding tank on the back of the RV. The bikes are about 65 pounds each, but the Yakima bike rack along with the waterproof cover works well. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.
Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.